Today, we are going to learn how to solve multi-step word problems. A multi-step word problem is like a puzzle with lots of pieces. Multi-step word problems are math problems that have more than one operation. An operation is like addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division. Today, we will work on addition and subtraction word problems. When solving word problems, it is important to first read the problem and visualize what is happening. When you visualize, you are picturing in your mind what is happening. For example, I have the following word problem. Janet baked 12 cookies. Her brother Johnny ate four of them. How many cookies are left? I will visualize the 12 cookies and cross out the four that were eaten by Johnny. I see eight cookies left. Now let's practice some multi-step word problems. I see the problem says, Mary wants 100 cupcakes for her party. Mary has already made 48 berry cupcakes and 34 chocolate cupcakes. How many more cupcakes does she need to make? Before we begin solving the problem, let's identify the question. Do you see it? Here it is. How many more cupcakes does she need to make? When solving problems that require more than one step, it is important to identify any operation clues, meaning which words show whether we need to add or subtract. In the problem, I see that it says Mary has already made 48 berry cupcakes and 34 chocolate cupcakes. What is this information telling me? Oh, that's right. I need to know how many cupcakes Mary has baked so far. Let's add 48 and 34. I know 48 is made up of four tens and eight ones, and 34 is made up of three tens and four ones. I see that I have 12 ones, so I can trade 10 ones for a 10 stick. I see I have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 81, 82 cupcakes so far. Let's look back at our word problem to see what else we need to do. Let's replace this sentence with what we have found out so far. Now, our problem says, Mary wants 100 cupcakes for her party. Mary has already made 82 cupcakes. How many more cupcakes does she need to make? See where we added the new information? How do we find out how many more cupcakes she needs to make? Oh, that's right. We need to subtract 82 from 100 to find the difference. Let's solve 100 take away 82. I would like to use a number line. Let's start at 100 and count back. 100 take away 10 equals 90. 90 take away 10 equals 80. 80 take away 10 equals 70. 70 take away 10 equals 60. 60 take away 10 equals 50. 50 take away 10 equals 40. 40 take away 10 equals 30. 30 take away 10 equals 20. I see that so far we have subtracted 80. Let's count back two more to find our answer. Great! It is 18. When looking at our problem first, we had to add. Once we got that answer, we had to subtract. That's what's made this problem a multi-step word problem. Remember, when solving multi-step word problems, you must first read to understand. It is important to visualize what is happening. Next, you must make a plan. It is important to find the answer to the first question in order to solve the next question. Lastly, solve the final question and be sure to look back and check your work to make sure it makes sense. Thanks for helping me solve a multi-step word problem and growing as a learner. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.